My name is Richard Horton and I'm editor of The Lancet. The climate emergency that we're facing today is the most important existential crisis facing the human species. And since medicine is all about protecting and strengthening the human species, it should be absolutely foundational to the practice of what we do every single day. The GMC publishes an extremely important document uh, which guides all health professionals, duties of a doctor. The duties of a doctor are first and foremost to an individual patient or the public that they serve. The climate crisis is one of the most, I would say the most, existential crisis facing our communities in the world today. Doctors and all health professionals have a responsibility, an obligation to engage in all kinds of non-violent social protest to address the climate emergency. That is the duty of a doctor. The GMC, based on its own documentation, should be fully supportive of all health professionals who engage in that kind of non-violent social protest. My thoughts about the doctors who've been arrested during uh, the Extinction Rebellion protests uh, are thoughts of extreme humility. I hope that those who work in the medical profession not just recognise the contribution that they have made personally, but make sure that they are protected from anybody who might seek to damage or harm their future careers in medicine. We're the only species um, that exists that's created this incredible superstructure of a health system. Fundamentally, human beings care about each other. We wouldn't have built health systems if we didn't care about each other. We wouldn't have nurses, we wouldn't have doctors or any other health professionals, we wouldn't have created clinics or hospitals unless we fundamentally loved one another. Surely there's not only great hope but also uh, great encouragement for health professionals and their organisations and other groups in society to work together, to cooperate together to solve these problems that we face collectively. If every single person who's a health professional just did one thing every single week, we'd be having millions of people committing themselves, acting in a way that when you multiply that up over time could be absolutely transformational for the politics of our country. That should be inspiring hope amongst all of us that we really can achieve social change. And if you look at the history of social activism and the history of social change, that is what has done it. The brave acts, sometimes the small brave acts, of a large number of people have made the difference. And that's our task, our responsibility today in the 21st century.